Welcome everyone. What a joy to be studying through Isaiah 61, a passage that has um, quite a few messianic prophecies for us. Let's look at Isaiah 61 verses 1 and 2. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. This was fulfilled through the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was the one who was anointed. Anointing is an enabling to do what God has called us to do. And which is why in continuation to the truth that Jesus was anointed, we read about the works that he would perform. We see that he would preach good tidings to the poor. Here the poor is referring to a sin-stricken world and you know, the, the spiritual poverty that comes along with it. We see that the Lord Jesus would heal the brokenhearted. This world is corrupted by sin, uh, and which is why we see many sufferings. We see um, brokenhearted people around us looking for comfort and looking for answers. We also see that Jesus came to proclaim liberty to the captives, which means he came to minister to those who are oppressed. And the oppressor is Satan. He oppresses um, the people that God has created in his image in so many different ways. There's spiritual uh, oppression which can manifest uh, in, in a physical sense. It could even manifest, um, you know, in, in, a, in a mental way, in different ways. You know, there are, oppress there are oppressions that people experience. And also, we see that the Lord Jesus was sent to minister by opening prison doors or this again you know, goes back to the release that he brought uh, in, a, in a spiritual sense where he released us, he delivered us, he brought us freedom through salvation and you know, we also know that uh, even in, in the natural sense, you know, this, this is something that the Lord Jesus is able to do uh, for those who put their trust in him. So overall, as we consider the ministry of the Lord Jesus, you know, it, it um, uh, shouts out to us and it speaks of his deliverance. The Lord Jesus is interested in the release of his people into the destiny that he has for them. You know, he does not want them to be oppressed by the works of the devil. Um, and, and that is such an encouraging thing for us to note. Now, Romans 6.14 is another beautiful passage that says, Sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law but under grace. You see what Jesus has done for us. He has set us free, um, uh, spirit, soul and body. Even sin will not have dominion over us, which means that we no longer need to be slaves of sin or um, we no longer need to succumb under the pressure of temptation. We can make our decision um, as individuals because now we are free to what Jesus has done for us. So the victory of the cross is, is such a great reality uh, for us. And for us as believers, we need to be established in the victory of the cross. And notice here in verse 2, he says, Jesus' ministry also involved proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord. We're talking about God's favor. God favors people. God favors people. And God wants to bring in uh, that reconciliation between himself and people. We notice it talks of the day of vengeance of our God. So on the cross of Calvary, we know that the Lord Jesus triumphed as Colossians 2.15 tells us, but it's also God's vengeance on Satan. Um, so uh, let's remember this truth and I believe that it will set us free. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you want us to lead a 
free life, O oh God, Father, to do what you've called us to do. So today we pray that every bondage of oppression will be broken over people's lives, God. In the name of Jesus, we speak a release from every oppression of the enemy. And thank you, Lord, for doing it for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.